Hey guys, Cajun Resell here. Back at you with the final leg of the thrifting road trip video. I am now leaving the Kentucky area and heading north. It is currently 8.48 a.m. So as by the title, you already know I'm headed up to Pittsburgh. So let me know in the chat and comments what you think I might be doing up there. Hopefully I'll come back with some good uh, thrift store finds. Okay guys, I made it to the Goodwill bins in Pittsburgh and look who I found. It's KJ. We're gonna hit up the bins and see what we can find. I'm gonna use the GoPro. So hopefully I'll have some good footage for you. Let's cut to the GoPro. So on this first day at the bins, I'm actually using my phone. That's when I quickly realized that the GoPro was the best option. So here I am looking through the bins. This is the first time I'd ever been to Pittsburgh bins. And I just decided there was no new bins out. They hadn't done a bins change yet. So I'm just looking through everything that's already out. I did pick up one or two items that I didn't show here. One of them's actually already sold. It's uh, if you saw me pick up Angel, Sitch's girlfriend, uh, in the previous video, I think with Kayla, paid two ninety nine for it. I found actually found it at the bins for like you know whatever that price would be a dollar, probably less than a dollar, and uh, yeah, it sold actually. So you'll see that at the end of this video. But I do pick up those Care Bears right there, but. I don't actually uh, do anything with them. I do leave them. I'm looking for smaller items. This is the first day of the bins. I'm not sure what kind of stuff I'm going to find. So I do actually leave that item. You're going to see me show my cart in a second. I leave most of that actually. So I don't pick up most of that stuff. Uh, the two minions I put back, they had a bunch of stains on them. and They weren't really worth cleaning to, uh, to make it worth my time to actually pick them up. And here I'm looking at some shoes. Usually, if you see shoes that are sitting out, they're probably not going to be worth it. You could find a pair, like one shoe, and then find a different one in another spot, maybe, and make it worth your while. But usually, if the shoes are still sitting out after the previous day of being out, probably not worth it, because a lot of people do try and sell shoes. This is the next section over. I continue to look at all this random stuff that's here. And uh, I don't think I picked up anything out of this, but I just want to show y'all some of the footage of it with the phone. It's way harder to do it with the phone than with the GoPro. I only had one hand, so that's why uh, the next bit clip is also with the phone, but then you'll see me switching to the GoPro for the uh, next, you know, how many clips that are left in this video. So that'll make it a lot easier for me to actually focus on getting items and sorting through the items. So here is my Ben's buddy, KJ. I need it. Look what I found at the Ben's. At these bins, there's always a bell that signals when you're uh, time when it's time to go for the next bins update. So this is the everybody sorting through the bins right away. It's a little bit crazy at first. There's not too many people. I went to the bins in Nashville on my way back from the road trip, and that was crazy. There was people everywhere in that one. And that one, that one's not my style. This one's way more my style. It's kind of laid back. Uh, KJ knew a lot of people that were there already, so it was kind of fun to interact with some people that she knew and uh, interact with them. Uh, you know, they all focus on different areas. Some of them go for the clothes, which at this bins, you saw me pan to the right. That was it's all hard goods. It's like seven or eight things of hard goods, and on the other side, to the left, is all clothing. So, you know, it's a complexion of two different things. Some people go to the clothing, some people go for hard goods. I go for hard goods most of the time. Kind of jealous of that cart you saw right there. Someone had a lot of plush in that cart. <laughs> but uh, I've got a decent amount of stuff, and you'll see that, like I said, in the summary. But I don't think I actually pick up anything in this clip either. I'm looking at these. If that had been new, I might have picked it up, but it wasn't new. So I just decided to pass on that. That's like a massager thing. No interest in that either. I don't think so. Okay. I don't have space. I need to conserve space. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, do you want this? Back to the future. This is sealed. I'll look it up. There's a bunch in here that are sealed. I don't know. This? Nope, not sealed. Trickery. This is what happens when we don't have any bins changes at the bins. KJ decides to try on some dresses. These are all okay. Is that why everybody's here? Yeah. Yeah, because these are all yeah. new. Uh, I wonder if like, why everybody's here. Yeah, we don't know. We've never I've never been here. been here. Look at Crash thing? Bandicoot. That's who that is. Ha <laughs> ha
This is day two of the bins with the GoPro, so I got two hands now sorting through everything. I've already picked up a decent amount of stuff. You'll see it in the summary on the second part of this video, not this part. This part just going to be focused on part one. <laughs> but uh, I'm still going to show you some stuff from this one. This is, That's actually some pottery. At this Goodwill bins, pottery and glass and stuff is 15 cents. You can kind of see the plush right there. It's like a Sonic and a Crash Bandicoot. But yeah, glass was only 15 cents, so that's really cheap. Like the bins I'm used to, everything is basically by weight. There's no subcategory for clothing, there's no subcategory for hard goods. It's just all one price, and it's definitely not the dollar twenty nine that it is here. So I like this bins a lot more than the Mobile bins, especially a lot more than the Biloxi bins. The Biloxi Mississippi bins are terrible. I've only been once, so I shouldn't really judge it by that, but uh, yeah, you can see I keep looking. I do pick this up. I thought KJ's kids might like it, but it was really heavy, and I think KJ said she already had a decent amount of uh, other markers and pins and all that for their kids. So we actually do pass on that. I do pick up the Elsa. I think I put back the uh, Kristoff doll. Here I'm looking at this NASCAR poster. I'm not sure if it's worth it, and I don't really feel like picking it up. Sorry, because it just take a while to ship, so I do put that back. Same with everything else here. I don't think I really pick up too much here. Suitcases are no way. <laughs> Probably should pick up some of those bags. I could have used those for Christmas presents and stuff. But... What are we looking for, KJ? <laughs> A golden egg. <laughs> what are you looking for, Brad? Blush. <laughs> And video games, but I haven't seen video games. Oh, did we get any video games yesterday? Yes, video games. Oh, we yesterday. got the GameCube yesterday. Today we find the gold. We got that GameCube controller yesterday, though. That's right, we did find <laughs> a GameCube controller yesterday. Yep. Girls, I'll take those, thank y'all. What's this one? Here we are collecting more action figures. To get into the toy. Uh, yeah, he's already got a lot, but he loves little toys. And this is not speed up mode, this is like real speed. You gotta search for these bits fast to try and find the stuff. That didn't sound good. Okay. What is that? It's an Elvis. Huh. Elvis? Lucky. Two Elvis things in two days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's one of those Elvis people. She's one of them. <laughs> that item right in front of me right there is a Teenage Mutant Turtle Turtles car. If that thing had every, all the pieces, it'd be a definite bolo. I do put it in the cart, but since it's missing so many different pieces, it just wasn't worth picking it up for me. Maybe I should have picked it up, but uh, yeah, I didn't pick that up. And I picked up the little Star Wars thing as well, and I put it back after looking it up. And there's the bell again, indicating the new event change. It's always fun to see these. Sometimes you can kind of preview what's there. They ring the bell. You're supposed to say two feet away from the bell, uh, from the bins, and then you can start going. I do pick up that little beanie dude medium-sized snowman. You hear over here the people talking. I don't know if you can with the audio voice recording part. They're talking about they're going for action figures. That's what they're going for. I pick up a couple of grab bags here. Those grab bags, I'm gonna sh I think I'm gonna actually show what's in them. I thought they might have been worth it. There's a reason that no one paid $4 for them too. This store gets some stuff from other Goodwills that are in the area, and other stuff is direct donations. So it just depends on uh, what they put in there. Obviously that stuff, if it's a grab bag and has $4 on it, then it's going to be uh, obviously from a Goodwill store. Sugar loaf's always interesting. This I never super know. This heavy. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. Celebrate. <laughs> How do you say that? Adidas. Some people say Adidas. I know. <laughs> I am not one of them. 
So I got a little break in the action between all the bench changes and I'm going through these grab bags. And like I said earlier, there's really not much in there. It's like binder clips and pencils and stuff like that. I was hoping maybe it'd be something decent. Maybe there's something hidden in there that I couldn't find anywhere else. Uh, I do pick up those Sorel boots. Those were actually really cool. They were Frozen style Sorel boots. But uh, they haven't sold yet, but uh, they're super cool. <laughs> I think they will sell pretty well. I was surprised to find Sorel at the bins. Sorting through this one, more pencils and random junk. You can't really see it. GoPro's a little off, but it's like popsicle sticks and just random crafting stuff that wasn't worth picking up for me to pick up at least because maybe eventually it would be, but I'm trying to conserve space here and that's just not something that I want to uh, try and pick up and hold in my inventory. I did actually find one video game. This is like Glee for the Wii. I think I actually did put this back. I maybe should have picked it up. I think the disc was actually in good condition and it wouldn't have cost anything and maybe I could have loaded it with all these Wii's I have. Here's KJ's cart of stuff she got. Some nice boots, a lot of, I think the Halloween stuff's actually for her kids for Halloween because this is pre-Halloween. Here is the haul for Ben's part one. I paid shoes at $1.59 and then everything else was $1.29. It's way cheaper than the mobile bins that I typically go to in Alabama. But this is in Pennsylvania. And the total was $31.05. For all these items, the total was $31. First up is three Lego Duplo figures, I believe, and then some Shimmer and Shine little fairies, I think, or something like that. These little things. <laughs> Next up is this DJ Pony. My Little Pony Build-A-Bear plush. It does need some cleaning. I will try and throw that in the wash. Hopefully that'll help it. If not, and I might just spot clean it first. If that doesn't work, throw it in the wash. But it'll get clean. This little gal was going for around $25 or $30. As you can see right there. Two Smurfs. They need some cleaning as well. But they shouldn't be too hard to clean. Don't know the exact value on those. This one... Never heard of this before. <laughs> Had two little babies in it. It's kind of like Pound Puppies. But the name is Kennel Cuddly. Terra Toy. Didn't see an exact comp on this one. But it looked like it was probably around $25 or, or no, $20-$25 for that little thing. Funny enough, uh, Kayla and I found one of these... In, at the thrift store, as you saw in part two of this video, for $2.99. This one was just sitting there. Before the new bins change happened, this one was just sitting there. So this is Angel from Stitch. I now have like three or four of her. <laughs> Maybe I should list one. I've been keeping them so far, but I will list that one probably. And as you can tell, I'm in the hotel right now doing the, doing the bins haul right after I got done, so it's easier to remember. This elect, uh, Explorer, I think that's what it was. Explorer Controller for Xbox 360. It was going for around 50 or $60. I'll throw the screenshot up showing the lowest listed or the most recently sold. Leela found these three little guys. This is Toucan Sam, uh, Spike, I think, from Rugrats. I think that was his name. And then this little hug, uh, hug a bear, I think that's what it's called. Or it, might, it might say, it. actually, no, it didn't. But Google Lens revealed what that was. I got some Beanie Boos. This little purple unicorn is Rainbow. Then you got Paw Patrol Chase, Paw Patrol Zuma, and then this little guy, which is Stars, this is his name. He's from Cracker Barrel, so he's exclusive to Cracker Barrel, or was. This Pluto, I was pleasantly surprised. This thing's 25 to 30. It's the teal Pluto. It says, if found, please return to Mickey Mouse. This was a little Einstein's plush. I don't remember her name right now, but I will throw her comp up to show with her. This little bear I just got for fun. It's a Boyd's bear. This is a Build-A-Bear outfit. It was on a monkey, and monkey Build-A-Bears are not exactly great. So I took the outfit off and bought the outfit only. This little peep. Anytime I see a peep, I will pick it up. This one does not have a barcode or anything, but all you got to do is type in purple peep and put them... Uh, length of it shouldn't be too hard to sell, especially since Easter is actually somewhat coming up now. This little bear works. It says go to go to sleep, go to sleep, little baby, something like that. It's a Carter's one size lovey blanket. These are X2 rollerblades. That was the shoe that was like eleven dollars. 
They look like they're going for $60 to $80. Couldn't find the exact color of this, but uh, I did pick them up. I, I left another pair that was like $9 uh, that was smaller size and was only going for like $30 or $40, and it was also going to cost $10. I didn't want to have that low of profit margin because these might not be that easy to ship. KJ found this little controller. It was in a bag of electronic stuff. It was kind of buried under ones that were just generic, but it's a GameCube controller. Probably... 20 to 30 dollars maybe if it works i gotta test it but i do have a gamecube to test it on and that that looks like it probably will work i didn't see any rips anything in the cords a goofy hat it's disney branded so hopefully it, it'll do well didn't pay much it weighs it probably weighs an ounce or two if that and now a lot of hats <laughs> this is one of the last hats i picked up it's polo ralph lauren this Atlanta Braves hat, Braves are going to the World Series, needs some cleaning, obviously. I don't know if that'll get out, but it. all these hats are probably 10 to 20 cents each. Pittsburgh Pirates, as obviously I'm up in Pittsburgh. Going to find a lot of Pittsburgh stuff. Pittsburgh Penguins, Stanley Cup Champions 2009. This was surprising. This was way, I found this way after this bin had already been put out. This was not a new bins find. None of the hats were new bins find. These were all already sitting out that I picked up. Which me might be an indication that they weren't worth that much, but I, I can't pass up hats at the bins. They're easy to transport back. I can sell them all together in a big lot. A lot of the Steelers ones I can. I got a decent amount of Steelers. That's one. There's another Steelers. As long as they're adjustable in the back, they won't be. They shouldn't be too hard to sell in a lot. And then this Yankees hat. It's a certain size, seven and three eighths, new era. But Yankees are a very popular team. And then I got some Phillies hats. These need some cleaning. You can see there it's got, that's basically where the sticker was. So it shouldn't be too hard to get that off. Uh, and that's seven and a half. I think I got a couple uh, Phillies that are seven and a half, but there's another Steelers. It's an Oakley hat. Oakley is a decent brand for hats, I believe, but it does need some cleaning, obviously. And I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to get all that stuff out, but I'm going to try at least. Another Phillies hat. I think I have three Phillies hats that are size seven and a half. So I will sell all three of those. That that one, that one, and this white one that needs some cleaning as well. But I'll sell all three of those in a lot. This is a Route 66. Don't think I'm meant to get this one, but it's still a cool hat. I didn't realize it was in the in the bin until I'd already checked out. Or I, yeah, I already checked out. And last but not least for this bin's haul, this little St. Patrick's Day bear. Typically, I would say strip the clothing and keep the clothing, but that is on there, and this is a themed Build-A-Bear. I don't know the exact value, but I think it was around $20 to $25. I'll try and throw up a comp uh, with him. So that's it for part one of the Benz trip. After the first day at the Benz, KJ and I went to a thr local thrift store, got this little Marie plush for $2.75. I got Monkey Magic for $0.75. Cents. Metal Gear Solid, $1.75, and Resident Evil 2 for $1.75, and I'm showing the comps right there. The, this little lot of Littlest Pet Shop, got a couple dogs in there, usually the dogs are the some of the good ones, so hopefully those are some of the good ones. Then I got this Steelers jacket for, I think it was $6.75, so that's it for the end of day one in Pittsburgh. I never actually filmed an outro to this part one of the Ben's trip that y'all just saw. So I just wanted to uh, kind of film it here. I'm currently at my house. This is the backyard of my house. That is my house back there. <laughs> so I just wanted to quickly uh, chat with y'all, making y'all a little dizzy probably. Make myself a little dizzy actually. But uh, as y'all know, I just went up to Kentucky and this last Ben's trip was in Pittsburgh. The next video will also be in Pittsburgh, also showing a Ben's summary. But I just wanted to reflect real quickly with y'all. Sorry, something was moving. <laughs> I've seen snakes here before, so I uh, need to be aware of where I'm at. But I just want to fight with y'all. If you told me last year at this time I would be driving up to Kentucky and Pittsburgh to meet two people that I didn't even really know last year, I would have told you you were crazy. <laughs> Who would, like, that's crazy, right? To go meet random people I'd never even met before. I met KJ once at this time. I met KJ about a year ago at the, at the uh, Pittsburgh meetup that we did. But I just want to reflect on this community, how positive it is. There's also going to be negatives. There's always going to be negative Nancy's, Debbie Downers, Doubting Thomases that you encounter. But I choose to focus on the positive people that I've met. These two friends of mine that I just hung out with for the last uh, two or three videos 
are two of the best people I've ever met in this community and I love them so much. They're like sisters to me. So yeah, if you haven't found somebody like that in the community yet, you will. There's there's those people there. You just gotta search and you'll find them. Like they're there. <laughs> you don't you're not gonna connect with every single person that you meet. It just doesn't happen. But I connected with these two and they're like probably gonna be best friends for life for me. So uh, if you haven't yet followed either one of their channels, their channels will be linked down below. Kayla's channel is linked. You probably already follow her, but if not, go follow her. KJ's channel is also linked. She has three videos out. Make sure you go uh, like and comment on all of her videos and subscribe to her channel as well and let her know that uh, Cajun sent you. <laughs> so don't forget to go like and comment on this video with what your favorite find was that I found at the bins and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thanks for watching.